TSA Flight 2311 today was a nationally known Atlanta physician, Dr. Nicholas Davies. Dr. Davies was on the staff of Piedmont Hospital. That hospital and all who knew Dr. Davies are mourning tonight. And our health reporter, Diana Davis, is here with more on the life of Dr. Davies. Kimberly, as Channel 2's health reporter, it was my pleasure and privilege to have known Nick Davies for eight years. He was more than someone I interviewed about health issues. He was my personal physician and he was my friend. Nicholas Davies had been an Atlanta physician for 36 years, an internist at Atlanta's Piedmont Hospital. He had also served as chairman of the Department of Medicine and had been on the board of trustees. He was headed to New Orleans tomorrow, where he was about to take over as president of the American College of Physicians. It is this country's largest medical specialty society with more than 70,000 members. As president of that organization, Nick Davies wanted to get some answers to tough questions about how to hold down health care costs. Just this morning, I talked with him about that in an interview. But something dramatic is going to change in the next decade. And uh, what's going to happen, I don't know. I don't have much fear. I think it's going to be better than it is now. At age 65, Dr. Davies still had an active practice. He never lost his enthusiasm so, for life, like medicine, or his patients. He never showed signs of slowing down. Dr. Robert Wells was his friend and colleague. He uh, not only had this uh, enormous personal talent with his patients, but he was uh, very, very much involved, not only in medical affairs and in trying to uh, uh, make things right in so far as medicine is concerned for the good of people, but he was extremely involved in the city of Atlanta in many, many ways that uh, many people didn't even know about. Just after our interview this morning, Nick Davies left for the airport. He was headed to Jekyll Island to speak to a group of young doctors. He was looking forward to playing some tennis first, looking forward to his new responsibilities. Nicholas Davies was more than a respected and admired physician. He was the father of three, a grandfather, and husband to his wife Garland for 40 years. Nicholas Davies was the kind of man you don't find much anymore. He was a friend of mine, and I already miss him. All right, thank you, Diana. The crash also claimed the life of a prominent Atlanta doctor. 65-year-old Nicholas Davies was on his way to a medical conference at St. Simons. As Channel 5's Randy Travis reports, Davies was supposed to go on to New Orleans to become head of a prestigious medical organization. Family, beautiful family photo of his wife and granddaughter. Linda Tucker is surrounded by memories of a dedicated Atlanta physician. On the desk of this Piedmont Hospital publicist, dozens of photographs and contact sheets of Dr. Nicholas Davies. It's very difficult um, because the man comes through. Davies was a prominent internist and cardiologist on staff at Piedmont Hospital for 33 years. He died while heading to a conference for medical residents at St. Simon's. He was always uh, very casual, offhand, humorous, and uh, we knew deep down, very dedicated. That was obvious to everybody. The 65-year-old doctor dedicated his career to correcting problems in the health care system. He also organized Friends for the Atlanta Library after hearing the program was in trouble. Dr. Davies' original schedule called for him to take a second plane today from Brunswick to New Orleans for the national meeting of the American College of Physicians. He was supposed to be installed as that group's president. I guess this would have been his, the pinnacle of his uh, achievements. That's why the hospital asked to pose for some of these photos just last Tuesday. Linda Tucker wanted to make sure she could handle the customary requests for background information that usually come with the presidency. Today, the request came in for a different reason. Well, most of the hospital is in a state of shock uh, with something that's so abrupt and untimely as the loss of uh, Dr. Davies. He leaves behind a wife, three children, and four grandchildren. At Piedmont Hospital, Randy Travis. Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Dr. Davies also served on the board of the Visiting Nurses Association. His family suggests contributions can be made to that organization or the medical library at Piedmont Hospital as a memorial to Dr. Davies. Well, two of the crash victims were young children. Atlanta internist and cardiologist Dr. Nicholas Davies was also one of the victims of yesterday's crash. An active member of the Georgia medical community, Dr. Davies was flying to St. Simons to speak to and inspire doctors in training. Friends say he lived an exemplary life, and in the words of one colleague, I know of no one who spends more time thinking and working toward the improvement of his fellow man's lot.
The untimely death of Dr. Nicholas Davies has sent shockwaves throughout the nation's medical community. Davies, born January 25, 1926 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, attained his medical degree from the University of Virginia Medical School. After serving in the Air Force as a flight surgeon for several years, he moved to Atlanta to do his residency at Grady and eventually set up private practice at Piedmont Hospital in 1957. He was a combination of physician, a primary care physician who understood what it was to get called at 2 o'clock in the morning and have to go. Uh, he also was an extremely intellectual person, one who had a great love of books and of science. But to Dr. Um, McClatchy, Davies was a dear friend and an inspirational and colleague. He says Davies' greatest contributions were not only his love of books and academics, but his foresight. Nick recognized that the greatest problem right now is in a time of runaway costs, we have an increasing number of people who have no access to any health care. I think Nick understood what that meant to people. In an interview with News at 10 in February, Davies stressed the need for a national policy that would control rising health care costs. And then if you want more, then you pay for more. Fine, you can pay as much as you want and get Cadillac care or, or Mercedes care. But everyone gets Hugo care. Everyone, regardless of their ability to pay. It's not going to be easy to do. Though he realized the difficulties ahead, friends say Davies was always willing to tackle the task. We always wondered how he made a living practicing medicine because he didn't charge uh, uh, very much and, uh, and we didn't really think he had time to see very many patients, but he managed to get it all done somehow. In addition to being a husband, father, and grandfather, Davies also managed to accumulate a long list of respected credentials. In 1978, President Carter named him chairman of the board of the National Library of Medicine. He also served as chairman of the Department of Medicine at Piedmont Hospital was an advocate for the Atlanta Visiting Nurses Association, and recently served as chairman of the Piedmont Ethics Committee and president-elect of the American College of Physicians, made up of 70,000 internists nationwide. He was to be installed as president on Wednesday. His last words were to me to be sure and be at the particular meeting he was talking about on, uh, on, talking at on Wednesday, uh, that I'd like some of the things that uh, he would be saying there. And uh, we'll miss hearing what he had to say. Details of his funeral service have not yet been arranged. Dr. Davies was 65. Two of the victims of Flight 20.